Hey, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, be sure to be subscribed to the channel, leave a like, and hit the notification bells so you won't miss my future videos. Now, let's get to the rest of the video. So, today we have of how the Raptors are playing. Now, if you haven't seen the Raptors, they just won two straight games from their season. Now, it might be a shocker that the Raptors are doing this good because it's very surprising how they lost Kawhi and Danny Green, or, and, and they are still the number two seed. Now, the Bucks, if they're going to struggle in the regular season, then, then it can be a doubt that the Raptors actually take the number one seed. I know it may not be true that the Raptors take the number one seed, but if the Bucks keep struggling, then it might be true. Now, how they're doing this good is of how they're playing. Now, here we do see that the Raptors, they are using Lowry mostly, Lowry and Spicy P, Pascal Siakam mostly in their playing. Now, so, now, how they're playing their starting lineup is that they're mainly now doing Lowry at point guard, obviously. Now they're having Van Vliet start as shooting guard. OG and Onubi, I'm not sure if it's OG, OG or is it around the Hall Jefferson, but it's either one of those people. Spicy P, obviously, at power forward, and then, uh, and then it's Gasol, or sometimes they might even start Ibaka at the center position. So that is is really a... So my question is, is that really a big deal to the other teams? Because that lineup doesn't look anything serious. But in the fact of that, they still have a solid bench, and they can even beat the Lakers now. They beat the Lakers last night by, like, 12 or 15 points, I believe. And today, they've actually just beat the... And I remember that they actually just beat the... Yes, they did beat the Heat, a very solid team, who's led by Jimmy Butler, an all-star. And coming to the scoreboard, we do have some type of thing. And if you look at the starters, it Marcus Lowe did start and OJ and Anubi did start. And if you look, Fred Van Vuy, he had 36 points. Larry had 14. Gasol had 6. And Onubi had 7. And Spicy P had 22. Now, the bench is pretty solid, too. Coming to the bench, they got Norman Powell. He scored 7. Eh, all right. Ibaka scored 15. Hollis Jefferson didn't even score anything. And that the rest of the team wasn't really anything. But coming to the Heat, and how did they beat the Heat? Well, let's look at their scoring here. They have Kendrick Nunn, two points. That's not solid to go on Lowry, obviously. Even though he was drafted this season. Duncan Robinson had three. Bam Adebayo had ten. Butler had 16, and then Crowder had 16. Jay Crowder, basically. Their bench? Nah, not really. Because Olenek had 17. The weird one was Drogic had 25. Tyra Hero had 12. Andre Iguodala, the new acquired Heat, during the trade deadline, he had 2. And then Derek Jones Jr. didn't even play for them in that game. So you can tell the Raptors are outscoring the the Heat, like, they're totally outscoring the Heat right now. So that's how they're actually able to get through and have this win. But if you like the video, be sure to be subscribed and hit the notification bell so you won't miss my future videos. Also, if you're new, be sure to like, like the video. If we can hit 40 likes on this video, I'll make another video just like this for another team. And I'll see you in my next video. And I'm out.